Turkey continues to strengthen its domestic defense industry with the testing and operational deployment of the SARP remotely. Controlled Stabilized Weapon System A modern solution designed to increase battlefield effectiveness while maximizing crew protection. Developed by a, one of Turkey's leading defense technology companies, the SARP system is designed as a modular, remotely operated weapon station that can be mounted on a variety of platforms, including armored vehicles, tactical wheeled vehicles, naval platforms, and fixed installations. The system utilizes advanced stabilization technology that enables accurate firing while the main platform is moving, even in difficult terrain. This capability is crucial for modern combat scenarios, where mobility and quick reactions are crucial. This capability compensates for vehicle movement and vibration. The SARPs stabilized. Turret is a key feature that distinguishes it from simpler remote weapon mounts. Stabilization is often aided by gyroscopic sensors, which keep the weapon aligned with the target even when the host vehicle is moving over difficult terrain. System integrates a suite of sensors and targeting technologies designed for all weather and day-night operations. It features an electro-optical infrared camera for low-light visualization and a laser rangefinder to measure target distance for precise ballistic calculations. Sophistication of the SARP goes beyond raw firepower. The system's fire control integration includes automated ballistic calculations, which consider environmental factors and target movement to increase the probability of a first shot hit. Thanks to its advanced capabilities, the SARP family has been widely adopted both domestically and internationally. Thousands have been produced, with deployments on armored vehicles and in fixed defense roles supporting operations, ranging from counterinsurgency to conventional deterrence. SARP supports a variety of weapon configurations, reflecting its flexible and modular design philosophy. Depending on mission requirements, the system can be equipped with various calibers of machine guns or auto This adaptability allows the same core system to be tailored for various roles, such as convoy protection, border security, counterterrorism operations, or naval defense. The ability to integrate multiple weapons also simplifies logistics and training, as operators can rely on a common interface across multiple platforms. During testing, the SARP system has demonstrated advanced target acquisition and tracking capabilities. The system is equipped with day and night vision sensors, including a high-resolution camera and a thermal imaging system, enabling effective operation in low-light and adverse weather conditions. This electro-optical system is integrated with a fire control unit that assists operators in identifying targets, calculating firing solutions, and maintaining lock-on during firing. These features are increasingly important in modern warfare where threats can emerge rapidly and visibility is often limited. Another key aspect of SARP is its digital integration. The system is designed to be compatible with command, control, communications, computers, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance C4, ISR networks. This allows SARP-equipped platforms to share sensor data and target information with other units contributing to a broader situational awareness picture. In network-centric operations, this connectivity can significantly improve coordination between land, sea, and potentially air assets. Testing activities for the SARP system focused not only on firing accuracy and sensor performance, but also on reliability, durability, and ease of use. The remotely controlled weapon station must perform consistently under extreme temperatures, dust, humidity, and mechanical stress. Therefore, evaluations have included prolonged operation in challenging environments, ensuring that the system meets the demands of real-world deployments. Feedback from this testing has played a critical role in refining the hardware and software components. From a strategic perspective, the development and testing of SARP underlying Turkey's broader defense policy goals. Over the past two decades, the country has invested heavily in indigenous defense technologies, aiming to achieve greater self-sufficiency and export capability. Systems like SAP not only meet the needs of the Turkish armed forces and security units, but also attract interest from international customers seeking reliable and cost-effective remote weapon solutions. Export success further supports the sustainability of domestic defense programs and reinforces Turkey's position in the global defense market. The human factor is another area where SARP offers clear advantages. By relocating the operator from an exposed weapon mount to a protected interior console, the system reduces fatigue and risk. The ergonomic design of the operator interface, typically featuring screens, joysticks, and intuitive controls, allows for faster training and more effective operation. In high-stress combat situations, such design considerations can have a direct impact on performance and decision-making.
In addition, SARP's remotely controlled nature makes it suitable for integration with future unmanned and autonomous platforms. As military forces worldwide explore the use of unmanned ground and surface vehicles, weapon systems that can be operated remotely and integrated with autonomous navigation and sensing technologies become increasingly valuable. SARP's architecture positions it well for such future developments, ensuring relevance beyond current operational needs. In conclusion, the testing of the SARP remotely controlled stabilized weapon system highlights Turkey's ongoing commitment to advanced indigenous defense solutions, combining stabilization, modular weapon integration, advanced sensors, and digital connectivity. SARP enhances both combat effectiveness and personnel safety. As testing and deployment continue, the system stands as a clear example of how modern military technology can address the evolving challenges of contemporary and future battlefields, while supporting national strategic and industrial objectives.